Homeowners here in Singapore could be facing higher mortgages as the impact of the U.S. Federal Reserve's latest interest rate increase becomes clearer. Now, the Fed has raised interest rates by 75 basis points for the second straight month to cool inflation in America. Singapore banks already raised housing loan rates last month in the wake of the Fed's previous hike. Analysts say that this could impact public housing home buyers when picking a loan. These homeowners have the option to borrow from a bank or take up a loan from the Housing and Development Board. A lot of uh, HD buyers uh, in, the, in, the, in the past actually they switched to commercial mortgages because of the uh, low uh, initial interest rate, uh, which is lower than 2%. If the interest rate environment or interest rate trends is rising, I think we expect a lot more buyers may consider switching back or they may want to look at HDB mortgage as alternative to hedge again the possible rise in the interest rate because I think HDB rate is relatively stable. Meanwhile, private property owners with mortgages tied to a bank loan could start to feel the pinch. Other private property buyers are trying to get ahead of this situation by locking their mortgage rates before any potential interest rate hikes. This condominium project sold nearly more than 98% of its units on the first day of launch. The take-up rate for AMO residents exceeded recent major launches, and economists expect interest rates to continue to pick up in the near term, but stabilize in a year. It's really about prudence, right? So, you know, the principles of not overstretching yourselves, um, you know, spending within your limits uh, or borrowing within what you can afford, uh, not to be too carried away, uh, you know, when the market bounces because of some of these risk rallies that we see, being a little bit more defensive uh, in terms of your investment posture. I think all those still make sense in, during this period where there is heightened uncertainty.